что-то черное, видишь, не бац. Там конкретно. Да. Да, примерно пешки бы сидел, курил, а дома мне пизда нахуй за стены, ебнуться нам. Не больше все будет. Ну что ты черный, видишь, ебат. Там конкретно. In an op-ed for The Telegraph, Colonel Hamish de Breton Gordon, a former British Army officer and a chemical weapons expert, argues that Ukraine's incursion into Russian territory has exposed Vladimir Putin's nuclear threats as a bluff. Ukraine's incursion into Russia's Kursk Oblast started on the 6th of August, and the Ukrainian forces have been broadening their bridgehead for over a week with Ukraine's commander-in-chief Alexander Sirsky earlier claiming over 1,000 square kilometers of territory inside Russia had been seized. Despite Putin's previous warnings of unimaginably catastrophic consequences for interference with Russia's special military operation, i.e. the ongoing invasion of Ukraine, there has been no nuclear retaliation from Moscow in response to Ukraine's incursion into Kursk Oblast, the Breton Gordon notes. President Putin's red lines mean nothing, and it is time our leaders in this country and across the West realize this, he says. The Breton Gordon notes that the US has promised severe consequences if Russia were to use nuclear weapons and that China would not condone such actions. Meanwhile, Putin has done nothing since the Ukrainians made their move. That has to be at least in part because he doesn't have any nuclear option which would magically solve his current problem. It would hardly help him to drop a nuke on Russian territory after all. The author argues that this incursion has left Moscow struggling to respond effectively with non-nuclear means without weakening its positions elsewhere in Ukraine. The US, the UK and France continue to restrict Ukraine from using the long-range missiles they supply against targets deep within Russia. The Breton Gordon argues the West to remove such restrictions. It must be made clear, even to the most timid leaders in Europe, that the nuclear option is not actually available to Putin. The West both can and should remove the shackles it has put on Ukraine and allow that bold nation to fight with its hands free, using its Western weaponry to its full range and capability. Hamish de Breton Gordon wrote, The United States still does not want to allow Ukraine to use long-range weapons provided by the U.S. in the Kursk region, according to CNN. According to several officials, the reason is not the risk of escalation. The situation is that the U.S. has a limited supply of long-range ATA CMS missiles to supply to Ukraine. In this regard, Washington believes that it is better to use them to continue attacks on Crimea, which was occupied by the Russian Federation. According to John Kirby, Strategic Communications Coordinator of the U.S. National Security Council, the Russians have redeployed some of their units fighting in Ukraine to the Kursk region. However, he did not specify the number of these units. We have seen some Russian units being redirected from operations in and around Ukraine to the Kursk area. I can't say with certainty how many or how many more may go or what their intentions would be, Kirby said. According to the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Oleksandr Sirsky, Ukrainian forces have taken control of 82 settlements in the Kursk region. Since August the 6th, the Armed Forces of Ukraine have been conducting a special operation in the Kursk region of Russia. Viktor Kevliuk, military expert of the Center for Defense Strategies, Colonel for the Armed Forces of Ukraine, has told about the advance of the Armed Forces of Ukraine in the Kursk region and mobilization challenges for Russia. 
The offensive in the Kursk region is gradually developing mainly in the northern and eastern directions, Kevliuk said. The Ukrainian defense forces have taken control of the territory with a total area of over 1,000 square kilometers. They have reached certain frontiers. A barrier will be set up from the western direction in case the enemy decides to counter-attack from that side. We will advance to the rear and flank of the enemy group that is fighting in the Kharkiv region, he added. Ukraine has established a military commandment's office in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation, headed by Major General Eduard Moskalyov. According to the military expert, this proves that we are a civilized country that is responsible for its international obligations.